Hey YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today we're breaking the old Lord of the Rings train card game. This is the first set, Fellowship of the Ring. Um, this is a card game that actually don't exist anymore. Uh, it was published by a company called Decipher, who had the rights for the Lord of the Rings uh, TCG. And uh, it kind of out, I believe, in 2010. But the game is absolutely fantastic. Um, so me and some friends have picked it up to play, and the booster boxes are pretty cheap. So definitely, if you need, you know, something like uh, some cubage action or you know a, a game to play, uh, to kind of like a board game, then uh, it's definitely something to consider. And as always, we will be looking straight at the rare, and there are also foils in this product, so. We will have a look at those as well. Get a little bit of lighting and focus here. The first rare is an Orphank Assassin, which is an Urukai. And the game works that in the way that you uh, you have a... Uh, when you build your deck, you build a free people's deck. And you build a... Uh, next one is a Goblin Domain. And you build a, uh, you can call it like a dark side deck. So you build like a, a shadow deck, I believe it's called. It's the it's the proper name for it. Um, and this means that when you when you play cards, when you play your free people cards, then the opponent will then have a shadow that they can play their cards for. So that's pretty cool. So uh, all veils revealed. Removed even, and then we have a foil, which is a common Uru wheel. We have Denison's Enraged, that's the rare. And I'm going to be trying to speed this up a little bit. And there's actually still some cards that for no real reason hold some value. But uh, that's not that's not why you should be buying this product at all. Um, Journey into Danger. So far I haven't gotten uh, one of some of the rares that I need for my deck. Which is also why I'm buying this product. Hoping for a uh, Legolas, I need him for the deck, uh, and they come, the characters come in different uh, rarities. Here we have a Boromir, uh, rare, he's a ranger, and he has some stats on him. Uh, pretty good card. And I also need, uh, I need a Gandalf, and I'm also in the market for... Uh, according to their stature. Here we have a Celeborn, which is an ally, and an elf. So not bad. We have an Rogue Lieutenant. I believe I need those, so that's pretty good. And one of my shadow decks, I'm building Urukais. Then we have a troop of Urukai. I'm pretty sure I need this as well. Have an orc butchery. And we have a Morgul Gates. And then uh, the game is pretty pretty solid up until the point where they stop following the movies. Um, so like the first 
six or seven sets are actually pretty good. Um, and they they kind of follow. You have um, the first one's called Fellowship of the Ring. Came out with the with the Fellowship of the Ring movie. Came out the same year. We have a Seeking its Master. It's a little dark. Hope you guys can see what's going on. And um, they uh, then they followed up with some with some filler sets through the year, so you don't have to wait a year for the next set to come out. So they have we have enraged no on unearthed foe. So they um, so they made the first one is uh, there's uh, realm of the elf lords which is the first uh, third set and the first block so to speak so they did it kind of like magic. We have Fellowship of the ring minds of Moria and then realms of the elf lord. Here we have the saga of Elendil. Which is a tail. And um, then for the second one, they had, I want to say, uh, Two Towers and then uh, Battle for Helm Steep and such. And we have Hate, which is a pretty, pretty strong card. Then we have Desperate Defense of the Ring. Need more characters, please. Then we have Bilbo Baggins, speaking of characters. And then we have a Foil Old Toby, which is a common. Yeah, you can play, um, but you have creatures, which are companions, and they follow the, uh, the seven rules and all that stuff. Cave Troll, Cave Troll's Haber. And then you have, uh, processions, <clears throat> which are pretty much like equipment, um, and you have a spell you cast, which are called, uh, events. We have a guard commander. We have a Nasco Ulea Cantea. Lieutenant of Toguldua. And then we have Desperate Measures, where we have Sam walking out into the water in the back. That's the rare. Alright, we have two boosters left, and then it's down to the final row. Have an orc banner. Then we have Lost to the Goblins. All right, and the final pile of boosters. We have Servant of the Secret Fire. We have to spot Gandalf. We haven't spotted Gandalf in this box yet. We have Carados has not forgiven us. It is never late. Then we have a foil Pippin, Hobbit of Summon Intelligence. That's a rare character in the foil. And the foils are pretty sweet in this product. It's 
probably hard to see, but uh, the final is actually pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Then we have the weight of a legacy. Another shadow card. We had the ring secret. That's the rare. Have the Council of Elrond, that's the rare, and a foil goblin spear. Very nice. That's a common. We have Lutz. He's a he's a good one. I feel like. Summon of Isengard, that's the rare. And we're down to the final six boosters. <clears throat> we have Mordor Enraged. Map. We have cool Katras Karatras Karatras. And here's the uh, this is the common pivot, Prince of Frodo. So you can get the characters in different uh, rarities as well, so you can actually play them if you are not lucky enough maybe to open the rare. We have Valiant Man of the West. Ooh, very nice. Then we have a foil Shores of Manifel. And again, the foiling is excellent on, in this product. Come on, something sexy. We have a Goblin Archer. And again, this is the uncommon Legolas, and you can get him in a rare, where he is called Legolas Greenleaf. Bow of the Galatrim. Barrow must be Legolas. Alright, so that's it for the break, guys. Uh, thanks, as always, for watching. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, let me know. Alright, cheers, bye.